Hi, I'm Michael Priestley from Avalara, formerly from IBM for the last 20 plus years. And I'm going to be talking about the politics of information architecture. And I want to start by talking about why is information architecture political? And a simple way to think about it is that your need for information architecture is driven by the need to align different models across different parts of the organization. And so if you're in a small organization where you've really got one person who's handling the main content aspects uh, for that organization's needs, then that person may be wearing many different hats and doing their own internal alignment of the tension between those different discipline viewpoints. They might be concerned about design and content and SEO and user research and analytics, and gradually those start to gel together and the underlying principles start to form implicitly within their brain. And under all those different hats, that one brain manages the alignment and produces something like a coherent, implicit information architecture. But once you start getting to a larger organization, that square cube law kicks into effect. And the surface area of that cube, where that organization is encountering the customer, is supported by more and more internal area that supports that surface area. And that internal area might be not just a visual design perspective but a, or a visual design person, but a department, a UX research department, SEO department, taxonomy department, information architecture becomes a discipline in its own right, working to align and connect and keep coherent for the sake of that surface area, that customer connection, the different perspectives and requirements that serve the customer. So the need for information architecture increases with scale. And if you think of those different disciplines like design and research and analytics and taxonomy and content architecture, SEO, digital strategy, each of them has a different part of that puzzle, a different part of the uh, customer relationship management uh, requirement. And the information architect can work to keep those aligned. But then you add different channels and the website, the email program, the social programs may each have their own taxonomy requirements, research requirements, SEO, probably web specific, but email and taxonomy and social and taxonomy and web and taxonomy, all of those need to be connected and consistent or the customer starts to feel a little bit lost. And if you start now thinking about different categories of content that that customer is dealing with, the marketing content, then the training, then the documentation and support, each of them having their own channels supported by their own disciplines. And then we start to multiply that by different families and platforms and service areas, each again with their own channels supported by their own disciplines. And that customer relationship starts covering a lot of different area and the need to keep all of the, all of that connection and all of that relationship managed and consistent and coherent starts to be a real job. And it starts to be a job that crosses a lot of different people and departments and organizations. So are we still asking why IA is political? Or I think probably it's pretty clear now. So thank you for your time. And again, the full uh, presentation is available at omnichannelx.digital. Thanks for your time.